What is up everybody? It has been a while since we've done anything to the bike and right now we're not going to do a mod per se but it's definitely going to change the look of the bike. We're also going to be able to get a passenger back on the bike because we've had the Lowrider S solo saddle on here. I love the way it made the bike look. Very uh, reminiscent of my favorite bike which is the Lowrider S which was the whole purpose. Behind that, since we added the chopped fender, but it's gotten a little lonely on the bike, and it's about time we got a passenger back on. And I've just been wanting to get a seat that is more comfortable on longer rides. Now, I'm not a big guy on touring, I don't plan on taking any long trips, but at the same time, some nice pipes on there, but at the same time, I would like to be able to ride in comfort when I go on my little jaunts for, you know, an hour and a half, couple hours. So we are all set. Now, what's awesome about this is I ordered this seat from Revzilla yesterday. Yesterday afternoon-ish, I ordered the Saddleman Step Up uh, Tuck and Roll Saddle. And I'm really excited. A lot of factors went into deciding to go with this saddle finally. I'll be frank with you, one of the, those factors was price. I was going to get the Lucky Dave saddle and after shipping and after tax it ended up being uh, up over $500. And I was fine with that. And after a closer look, I'm kind of glad because the Lucky Dave saddle actually on the passenger pad kind of sloped towards the rear of the bike. And I know that was gonna bug not just my kids who would be riding with me, but also my wife for sure was gonna bug her feeling like she's sliding back, especially since I haven't gotten a backrest for this bike either. So that was gonna be a problem. And the Saddleman seat looks much flatter from the pictures that I've seen now you can com you combine that with similar price on Revzilla now I had Revzilla cash which is basically credit on their website so you subtract that also they have free shipping also they don't have tax so you take all that out and you get a comparable saddle and frankly from the beginning of when I was choosing a seat the one seat brand kept coming up when I would ask people, when I would ask people, sales associates at Harley Davidson dealerships. I've heard this from multiple, multiple riders, either through my social media outlets or just from events when I ask around about how people like their saddles and that name just kept coming up. So, you know, I took the plunge and I decided to go with Saddleman. We are going to go take care of that. We're gonna throw this, this, the new Saddleman step up, two up seat on the bike. And maybe, just maybe, we might get a little input from that one kid. That being my daughter. She's gonna take a ride with me. We're gonna get you some feedback. What, what my early impressions of the seat are as well as passenger impressions of how the seat feels. We're almost there, so once we get there, I will get that seat on, have a little unboxing for you, and uh, we'll check out what we got. And as always, I would recommend Revzilla.com. Those guys always take care of me. They've got great review videos, not just on parts and accessories, but gear, bikes i mean they're the whole package and they're somewhat local so again i'm always gonna give a shout out to my favorite places to buy things all right we're here i'll be right back five minutes later we're unboxing the saddleman step up seat and here is that I don't like this. Oh, a little, 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 a little,
last night. They went to room at night. So, so, we'll hear. Okay. so we've got a tuck and roll design instead of the. I think they have that came with the the flat, and then I think also it came in diamond stitching. But I really like this design here. Um, we're gonna pull those bolts out and likely put another bolt in there. And we've got these little rubber stoppers here to protect your seat from, or your, your rear fender from these friction. So, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. Yes, instructions. So we'll take a look at that. Remove, rotate, reattach, install. Easy as that. I like those instructions. Okay, so to get it off, but once we do that, we'll get that seat on there, lickety split. So, just impressions. The reason why I like the Lucky Dave seat is that it gave them more of a curve here, but this isn't as bad as it really as it looks. Um, it's not as sharp of an angle as I thought. I like the the roundness because my bike has a lot of roundness to it. There's not a lot of straight lines. Um, to the bike, so I, I wanted that curvature, but this this is fine. I like this, just fine. So um, let's go get some tools. A few moments later. All right, so we've got the seat up. Now I don't know if you can see this in the video, but you can see how we've got uh, the bolt there that threads into the bolt that's coming up from underneath, rather than the traditional way, which is right here. Um, so now my kiddo doesn't have to get their, her arm up in there and try and uh, pull that bolt out. And there it goes. The other cool thing here is that when I brought my bike in to have the light, this indicator light turned off, they actually did a couple things. So one of the awesome things now is that these lights here work as brake lights in addition to turn signals, which wasn't the case before. So when it, whatever module they added in here, all of that works really well together now. The other awesome thing they did in here, if you've seen the video of all the wires that I had stuffed in here, they've cleaned that up considerably. So all that time that was spent in Iron Steed service shop, it was like 10 days. They only charged me for an hour of work. Uh, maybe it was two hours. Either way, they cleaned that up in there. and. Uh, Here's the old Solo Lowrider S saddle. What we've got to do is pull this and put that in there. And then we'll end up putting that little knob in here. So this is pretty easy and hopefully when we pull this out, this will just fall. There it is. Okay. So easy enough. Now we're going to pull this little guy out. You can go back in there. This will just stay empty. I don't know what the deal was with that hole. But because we're so close to the end here, I won't need to get my daughter to shove her arm up in there. We can do it with my adult size arm. Easy enough. You've got the tab there to match up with the line and then this little plastic stopper here to keep this from dropping down into your wheel well. So now we're all ready to put the, the new seat in. Easy enough. Uh, the only thing that I guess I am missing is the bolt and that I've got to find but we're gonna check take a look here at the fitment before we do any of that so get that seat up in there and looks pretty good can probably back it up just a little bit and we have this to protect also the fender so I will be back with a bolt. One eternity later. So I'm gonna get that on there for a little extra protection. And just bolt this, you know. Actually, I'm not sure what these two are. 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 There we go. Now, I might try and find a, what do you call it, aftermarket. I don't even know if you would call it aftermarket, a screw but something that looks nicer than a little screw there. 
There you go. Easy as that. So let's step back and take a look at what we got here with the two up. Now it's bulky, but to me, it's as low profile as you're gonna get for a comfortable, not only seat for me, but a seat for a passenger. So that is the latest mod here on the 2013 Fat Bob. Uh, I like it. Again, this is what I was looking for was the Lucky Dave seat had a much more curved look here. But what happened, like I was saying earlier, is that it looked like it came up and then it sloped back. I mean, it makes it look like a fast back seat, gives it a more, uh, you know, a nice angle. But for a passenger, this, one, this should be nice and flat. Any angle that's gonna make them feel like they're gonna slide off the back is not going to be good. So we're gonna hop on the bike, take it for a little ride, get a passenger and see what she thinks. All right, I'll be back. 20 minutes later. All right, kiddo, you ready? Yep. All right, so you're going to be the first one to break in the new Saddleman Step Up 2-Up Seat by Saddleman. And here we go. First impression, oh, first impressions is it's firm. Second impression is that it puts me up higher on the bike. Um, I'm not flat footing it anymore, but I'm on my tiptoes, but that's okay. All right, baby, get on. Right. So here we go. How does it feel, baby? Is it hard? Good. Is it hard or soft? Soft. All right. Here we go. She says it's soft. It feels firm to me, but hey, I'm all about pleasing the passenger. All right. Well, I feel firmly planted, and also, what it's done besides push me up higher on the on the bike perhaps once it breaks in it'll I'll sit down lower again but it's changed the position that my feet are on the pegs I feel closer to the the controls the for, the foot controls than I did with my old seat so that's kind of cool this is weird though because I am sitting up higher and it just gives a different feel to the bike. I'm probably gonna have to raise this camera up right here since I'm not only am I sitting closer, I'm also sitting up higher. So let me, let me just adjust that. I know that this seat uh, has medical grade gel to make it so that you can ride longer. So even though it feels firmer right now, it's going to actually be more comfortable for longer periods of time. What are these people doing here? Are we really stopping for this guy? who's crossing the street on a green light. Wow. <laughs> Interruptions. So we've got a firmness. We've got pushed forward, we've got pushed up. And we've got a passenger who is happy with the comfort of the saddle, which is good. The other thing about this material of the seat is you can buy the the, the padding on top to be completely flat and it comes with a material that keeps you firmly in place but they say that that's for people who like to do stunts because it's for their feet to be gripped to the seat and not necessarily at rear end and it's not great for long distance rides. So we went with the tuck and roll again. Uh, I didn't want to go with the diamond pattern because it was a little too busy for me. And I went with the, the tuck and roll with the, the lines, the, the horizontal lines across the seat because uh, we've got a lot of we've got lines on the tank. We've got lines on the, the derby cover and So I thought it went well with the the overall theme if you will of the bike So back to the, the how the seat feels It, it, it has pushed me up, but at, at the same time It's also feels narrower So I don't feel like my legs are so pushed out which is I guess a good thing because my feet have to <laughs> reach a little further to reach the ground so if my legs were spread out, it would be that much less of my feet being able to touch. So that's a good thing. And I mean, overall, I'm just, I'm happy. And that's my early impressions with this seat. I like the, the look of it, even though it's a little bit much. I like my seat to blend into the bike because I like to look at the lines of the bike. I don't want attention drawn to the seat. 
But if I'm going to have attention drawn to the seat, I want to have a nice quality saddle. And that's what I ended up getting. So I am happy on that front. And we're going to ride a little bit once we hit a stop sign or a stop, stop light. We're going to ask the uh, kiddo what she thinks so far on the ride. What do you think, baby? Fun. Okay, yeah, the motorcycle ride's fun, but how do you like the seat? It's comfortable. It's comfortable? Yeah. It's not slippery, is it? No. No, it feels like you're stuck to it? Yep. What else? Does it feel like you're up higher than you usually are? That could be because you're taller now, too. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep going, all right? Yeah. This kiddo loves to ride the motorcycle. She could not wait till she was big enough. And when she was big enough, she was ready to go. She's, every time she would look, she'd be like, look, my hands can almost reach around your waist. And that was the requirement for her to be able to ride with me, was that she could reach all the way around my waist and lock her hands together and she's plenty old enough now to do that and she loves to ride, ride on the bike with dad so that makes me happy you don't know how long that's gonna last as, as far as age wise goes so I'm happy that she likes to ride with her dad all right so kiddo likes the seat I like the seat we're gonna give it four thumbs up one hour later so now we've got no passenger right and i thought maybe it would be a little bit further to reach too because we had no passenger but my daughter she only weighs like 85 90 pounds so i mean it wasn't adding all that much i can still reach pretty well to the ground here uh, i could almost flat foot on my old seat so it's a little bit worse but this seat has me firm in place I am not going anywhere and I was afraid that it would be uncomfortable because of the angle of the seat not being rounded but no it's it, you don't really feel how angular it is as opposed to the round one with uh, the lucky Dave that I was leaning towards for a while I'm actually looking forward to taking a longer ride on this because like I said before that guy just totally ran that red light I don't think that guy knows what flashing red lights mean but he definitely ran that light and had I been turning could have killed me so that's nice <laughs> so <laughs> after uh, riding on riding on it a little bit earlier with my uh, with my kiddo and now being on it here for a little bit it, it definitely you can feel the gel in the seat and it's it's nice it really is nice and like i said because of the angle of the seat there's a nice uh i wouldn't call it lumbar support because it doesn't feel like you're sitting that deep in the seat for it to actually feel like that but it is keeping me in place and i think if it didn't have the the real angular step up which is what the seat's called if it even if it didn't have that you would stay pretty well put because i think the material is pretty grippy it actually the the material feels a lot like the sport sport bike seats that i've sat on when i when i go when i've taken some sport bikes for test rides it does feel a little bit like that material where it's not like super grippy where it's annoying but it has just enough grip to it that it feels nice so i'm really happy with the material of the seat happy with the look of the seat uh, the only, the, and this is, like I said, this is a nitpicky because I do like the seat. The nitpicky thing I would say is that I don't like that it put me up higher. And being a shorter rider, I would I would say this to those of you who are considering the Saddleman step up for your Dyna. Is that if you were having trouble or if you were tiptoeing a little bit on, let's say, like a street bob or a low rider that's already sitting a little bit lower to the ground. You might be reaching that much further to get to the ground. So that's just something you want to keep in mind if you are riding one of those bikes and you are a shorter rider. Flashback. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button, which I'll pop up on the screen right now. I will also throw up some links so you can go straight to one of my other videos if you're so inclined. Guys, if you're out there riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. This is that one guy, and I am out.